Texas officials say a lot of human trafficking cases involve the southern border. Only on Fox tonight, a first-hand look at how border agents protect the state from what they describe as an invasion. Fox 26's Matthew Seedorf is reporting from Del Rio. Authorities at the southern border noticing a change in recent weeks. While they're seeing less migrants crossing illegally, many of the ones they are seeing are choosing to run. Now, common sights along the U.S. southern border. We get people crossing daily by our house. Day after day, new groups of illegal migrants overrunning this Eagle Pass neighborhood, trying to hide from the law. There are some people coming for the benefit of the good, but then there's some that come for the bad, and it's just those moments of walking out of your home, do you feel safe or not? This is a commonly used trail that they come up. While walking a trail with Border Patrol. They did cross the border illegally, so we're doing what's called the field intake. They discover migrants at least two miles from the actual border. This is a smaller group than what you guys are used to, right? Yes, yes. So this is probably just part of the group that scattered uh, so they're still searching for the, the rest of the group. Oh, there's more? Yeah. So yeah, now they're running. Almost on cue, agents run to three more migrants found thanks to a drone above. Go get them. Then another group. All adults traveling alone. Very close to a train station. This is one of our challenging areas right now. As soon as that train's starting to roll out, we'll see them run and try to jump into, into the train. Very dangerous. Uh, we've seen a lot of injuries out here, a lot of uh, deaths. In my entire 27-year career, this is the busiest it has ever been. But now we're starting to see a shift back to trying to evade capture. We're having to actually find the, uh, the migrants and, and apprehend them as opposed to them trying to find us. Border Patrol's Del Rio sector recently apprehending about 1,000 migrants a day. That number last year, more than double. They down there? Uh, Colombia, Colombiano. Uh, this family of four from Colombia, trying to get to New York City. Okay. They'll lay uh, clothing on top of the, the Constantino wire. Some of the migrants have actual wire cutters that they bring with them. Large piles of trash and clothes litter ranches near the border. Signs tell those who illegally cross the river to follow the road giving overwhelmed agents a chance to help those seeking asylum. Sometimes they are turning themselves in, and a lot of times they're turning against us. Right now we're getting onto an airboat. This is one of the main uh, deterrents that they try to use to keep migrants from even getting into the water. We've encountered all sorts of uh, nationalities, Chinese, Russians, you name it, we probably caught it here. This man on the Mexico side of the river watching us closely from an ATV. He's letting somebody know, hey, something's up. There's some people out here that are not usually out here. On this day, a migrant's lifeless body pulled from the Rio Grande. Just in the Del Rio sector last year, agents recovered 35 bodies from the water while saving more than 65 people from drowning. The boats were designed to try to deter people from crossing, but usually what the smugglers will tell them, if you see the boat, if you're struggling, they're going to they're help you. All right, we're going to have a bell out, bell out, bell out, bell out. In nearby Kenny County, the chase is on. Uh, put it politely, uh, we're getting our butts kicked every day, every day, day in and out. A rural Texas county near the border, population about 3,000. Right now, you are being placed under arrest for smuggling of persons. You understand? You understand? Last month, they had 35 pursuits in only 28 days. They're going east on frontage. Smugglers driving cars full of illegal immigrants. It's an invasion because we are being invaded. Hundreds, you know, thousands of people a month are pouring through my county, unchecked, un you know, unaccounted for. Go and put your hands behind your back. Under arrest for human smuggling. Kenny County deputies catching human smugglers here from New York, California, Nevada, and major cities across Texas. How many total people are in there? Four. Four? Almost 40% of their captured smugglers last month from Houston. Most of them are from Houston. The majority, if I break it down, yes. Why is that? Biggest city in the state. They're being promised a thousand, two thousand, even three thousand dollars per person to get them to Houston. One, two, three. That are lured by the uh, the idea of an easy payday. What they don't know are the uh, the criminal charges, the absolute uh, ruining of their life that awaits them when we catch them. An increasingly dangerous job for authorities at and near the border.
trying to keep neighborhoods safe here and beyond. The chief of Border Patrol here in Del Rio says his biggest concern is the uncertainty surrounding Title 42 and when it's set to end in May. Reporting at the border, Matthew Seedorf, Fox 26 News. And join us next week as we continue our exclusive look from the border. Matthew will take a close look at the human smugglers that authorities are trying to find in the rising connection between people for sale and Houston. If you or someone you know is a victim of human trafficking, you're asked to contact the National Human Trafficking Hotline at 1-888-373-7888. Or you can text HELP or INFO to 233-733. Now that hotline is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week in more than 200 languages. We also have all this information if you didn't catch it on our website, fox26houston.com. Just click on the Fox 26 in Focus tab.